Uh, my name is Karen Wadsack and I manage the Arizona Wind for Schools project on behalf of the United States Department of Energy. And the Wind for Schools project is uh, housed at the university here and works with kindergarten through 12th grade schools throughout the state to support those schools in the installation of small wind turbines, typically like this one, and uh, the implementation of wind energy curriculum at all different grade levels. So this wind turbine here is supplying some electricity to the Applied Research and Development Building. And the wind turbine was donated to the university a while ago by Southwest Wind Power, which is the manufacturer of this turbine, and they're here in Flagstaff. They had intended to donate a turbine to the university for use in research in the mechanical engineering and other departments, and we never really had a great place to put one. And so when Wind for Schools started up here, we worked very closely with Southwest Wind Power on a number of partnerships. One of them was to actually get this turbine over here and get it installed. They donated the turbine, which you see up top, and a 45-foot tower. Now this is a 70-foot tower, and so the um, university uh, worked with a number of contractors and with funding that was uh, obtained through the student NAU Green Fund to be able to finance the installation and the purchase of a taller tower. My name is Melody Harkey and I'm a student member and chair of the Green Fund Committee. In March of 2010, students overwhelmingly passed the NAU Green Fee, which is a $5 per student per semester fee. This money is managed by the NAU Green Fund Committee, which is a student-led group that approves student-proposed sustainability projects on campus. One of the first projects passed by the committee was the installation of a SkyStream wind turbine to be installed outside of the Applied Research and Development Building. So students applied to the Green Fund to get uh, some of money that would support the remainder of the installation, any other equipment costs, the wiring into the building, um, the taller tower, and the actual labor for the installation and foundation, etc. At maximum capacity, so if the wind is blowing full speed, the turbine will be producing 2.4 kilowatts of electricity.